so we go to the playback menu, okay, and then we'll just uh, we'll be on the left side here, and we'll go down uh, to the custom setting menu. In the custom setting menu, we want to go down to the bracketing or flash. That's E, letter E, and I'll press enter. And then here, E1, flash sync speed. What we want to do is we want to take it all the way to the top, one three twentieth of a second. Auto FP. <clears throat> now that does not necessarily mean that it's only going to sync at one three twentieth. It'll actually sync all the way to one eight thousandth of a second. And I'll show you basically uh, what I mean. So now that I have it set on that, I'll just go ahead and turn it on here. So the flash has gone on, and now I can take this. Um, this shutter speed. See that it goes all the way up to eight thousand. And then um, <clears throat> I can actually uh, take a shot here, and the flash will go off. And, uh, I mean, here's the image of the flash. Just, uh, I'll just hit the play button. Obviously, it's just the side of uh, this uh, wall. And I'll do one outside. Uh, but I just want to show you that the flash does sync at one eight thousandth of a second. So, on the flash itself, you'll see right up here, it has the FP light on. Uh, that is the auto FP. And that's the light that we use to... Uh, know that we're on high-speed sync. It, it, Nikon never calls it high-speed sync. It's called Auto FP, um, but uh, that's just the acronym for high-speed sync. Uh, so I'm going to do three photos and show you the difference between the um, high-speed sync, uh, the, uh, which is Auto FP, the regular uh, 1 250th of a second sync, and then the 1 8,000th of a second, or, I mean the, the regular uh, available light without flash, okay? So the first one that you see here is um, the uh, regular without flash, and as you can see, um, I'm not really particularly well lit. I would have to then position myself around so that my face is well lit, but then I would lose the background behind me. So if I happen to have a nice background behind me, um, I'd, be, I'd have to lose it because I'd have to change my camera angle. On um, 1 250th of a second here, you'll see that the um, uh, flash fill basically comes in. Uh, brings in the face, not super f flattering, well, especially because it's on camera, uh, but then at least, you know, the front is lit and the background you can see. Um, there's another complete conversation. The front is lit, but it looks like a flashlight, but of course that goes to the dis diffuser uh, or off-camera flash or power snoot uh, discussion. Um, and then on one eight thousandth of a second, you can see right here, it basically looks like I'm in the complete nighttime, which is a very artificial uh, look that's created by the speed of the shutter uh, 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 being mixed in with the power of the flash and the duration of the flash within that shutter speed. Anyway, so to make a super long story short is that at one eight thousandth of a second I can do effects that I couldn't do uh, outdoors with flash basically by, by making the dark darker. Uh, the background darker. So, uh, for example, if I wanted to have the sky a darker blue, then I would want to go into one eight thousandth of a second. Now, um, on the cameras that do not support uh, higher speed syncs, now, as far as I know, uh, most or all of the Canons, all the Canons I have, support um, high speed sync. It's just a setting on there. There's another video that I have in my library that teaches how to set that up. Uh, Sony, as far as I know, they all do it. Um, but Nikon, you know, they don't all do it. So, if you, if you are kind of stuck at uh, the 1 250th of a second sync. It doesn't mean you can't do these outdoor lighting effects. It just means it requires a lot more power. So, uh, for example, if I were to shoot something and I wanted it to look like night, I'd have to use a power snoot because it focuses the beam or the power grid, uh, and then I'd have to shoot it maybe 1 uh, F22 or something like that, and then just, you know, heat up this flash unit to get that type of dark simulation. But the neat thing about 1 8,000th of a second is I can have... Uh, more wider open apertures and less uh, um, punch coming out of the flash. Um, even though it's a longer duration, it's it's less of a uh, less of a punch on on some of those uh, s smaller uh, uh, small slower exposures. Anyway, so I hope that helps. Um, be sure to, to uh, subs subscribe to my website, um, and uh, I've got new videos all the time. Okay, thank you.